with the way things ended last episode with us talking about potential Aaron Titan replacements, talking about us not trusting Aaron, Aaron not trusting other people, this episode being called Deceiver, I hate it so much. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Attack on Titan Season 4, the final season, Episode 11. It's crazy to even say that, called Deceiver. Now, my theory, and I don't know even know how that would be a thing, but there has to be something, in my in my opinion, with the Marleans. I, I still don't, even after all this, fully trust Zeke one bit. I really like Nicolo, don't get me wrong, but I'm somewhat suspicious. Sus, uh, suspect of what happened last episode when all the higher ups and the scouts and the garrison were getting all drunk and they're like yo Marlene go fetch us another bottle and he was going down there and Nicola was like this one like are we getting drunk for a particular reason and then we have Zeke it ended the last episode ended with like a, a very foreboding shot of Zeke in the in his little hotel forest with everyone it's like I don't trust it I really I don't know and I have no logical physical evidence pointing towards why i shouldn't be trusting it but it's attack on titan so of course i'm not going to trust it i'm just so excited to hop into this episode though and find out what does happen remember if you guys do want early access not to this show obviously i wish but full length of this show all the other shows i'm watching check out that patreon down below if you guys enjoy this video and want to support me and patreon's not really your thing if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment a nice comment it really does help with the youtube algorithm don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new join that dapper squad click that bell so you guys always know when i'm posting I appreciate y'all. Follow me on all my social medias, Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter. Dapper Darius. Thank you guys. Let's hop right on into this. I am super excited. Attack on Titan, the final season, episode 70, Deceiver. Oh my god. Oh, I knew I didn't trust her at all. Oh, they hid something in there. So it's like a brick. So Falco was complicit in this plan. I can't blame him. He's in prison, but oh my god, that is so overkill. He really was. He was genuinely. Yep. That's <laughs> it's, it's crazy that Falco pointed that out. The animation, just in the background, looks beautiful. I understand that. She just wants to know the truth after being brainwashed her whole life, you know? I understand that wanting to get that truth. I get why she would think that. I do. It's just, yeah, she is crazy at this point. She's lost it. She's unhinged. From this perspective, is someone watching them? I don't like Gabby, no. If Gab... You want to talk about devil Eldians, good people? What's up? Yeah, seeing two stranger kids offering you food, shelter, immediately? Come on. Okay. If this show does anything more to make me feel conflicted... No, 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 no. That's not Sasha's dad, is it? I, I just, I don't know about the other kids, and I haven't seen him too often. He just has a southern accent, that's why I'm assuming that. Oh, I hate this show. Isayama, you are a fucking maniac. It's been a while since we saw my man Darius. Darius Zachary is my name. He has a nice ass beard. Most <laughs> I like that title. So they're gonna get an aerial view of the testing of the rumbling. <laughs> Reeves, yeah, what was his name? Oh my, I remember his dad was Demo Reeves. 
How am I blanking on his name? Bro, this guy was so clutch in season three when he sat on that guy and was like, don't worry, guys, I got your back. Oh, his dad was Demo. Fuck, I know I'm blanking. You guys know I take pride in knowing my name, so I'm hated that I don't know his name. So they're wanting to know why Aaron's in prison. Yeah, the future, yep. I understand why they'd want to know. It's a democracy. I understand, even though it's not. History is in charge. That was the journalist also from season three who, <laughs> so many throwbacks. Of course it would be Flock. Makes sense. He's, eh. He, I, Flock's the one who believes in the devil of Eldia is going to free Eldia, so I understand it. I like how the window was splitting both ideals, people. Like, it's crazy, you know? From where Aaron started to him, how he's being revered by some people now is crazy. Anji is not about her bullshit. Okay. He's willing to do whatever he needs to do for the sake of his people. I understand it. If it means going to jail, then so be it. I remember when we tortured him. Yeah. It's been a long time, man. She's really gone through it since then. She's going through it mentally. I remember it was the last episode she said the only mistake Ervin ever made was making her in charge. I love Hanji, man. I feel so bad for her. That was when Demo Reeves was blocking the gate. Wow. That is a throwback. She was young. Oh my god. I understand where she's coming from, Mikasa and Luis. Oh, even salutes. Like she still believes in Mikasa, even though it's it's of like. Why is her? I'm gonna pause it real quick because I'm shit's about to go down. It's like. Hmm. It kind of reminds me of a similar situation in Game of Thrones. I'm not going to spoil it for people who haven't seen Game of Thrones, but it's like you start this revolution, you start this grassroots movement. It has it's solely runoff, uh, not desire, but justice. You know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's solely based off emotion, righteousness and freedom, like on, on, like super honorable, you know, benevolent deeds, stuff only for the benefit of the people so everyone gets involved everyone can back it but as soon as it gets political as soon as it gets into involving other nations stuff like that it gets so much more complicated that's why the journalist that's why um demo's son was just saying you know can we still trust you i know you're in a tough situation but you know like you've changed your stance up against leaking information you change your stance up on this that and the other and hanji's like it's just so much more complicated and mikasa knows that that's why she's saying the Mikasa that I got inspired from, motivated from, if the ultimate end goal was to, like, and which is, she's right. Two seasons ago, Mikasa would have fought, three seasons ago, Mikasa would have fought head, tooth, and nail to get Eren freed from this prison. You know how she is, but it's just like now she understands. She has that perspective, that, that grasp on the situation. It's very, it's very complicated. There's so many different story threads versus radicals, extremists, non-extremists, pacifists, people who are young, impressionable, people who are veterans and are deteriorated you know worn down over it like so many different it's not just like left and right you know it's like it's like a little circle of different perspectives it's, it's fucking blows my mind i swear but the trust were away that'd be cool i could see especially with the new information that just came out why that would be suspect currently detained for leaking information I love pixies. Horses do that. Oh no. Oh god. Gabby is going through it. She can successfully throw a thing of grenades at a moving tank and dodge bullets, but she can't handle barn duty, you know? 
And then hopefully you guys can be freed. Yeah. Rather, yeah, rather working on vengeance, which will lead to nowhere. Work on your lives. Work on the future. I get Falco. I'm on Team Falco, baby. That's nice. Especially having a farm in the Southern Land, you know, you'd have so much space, so much. That's cool. I'm saying how. She's like, my dad, my parents, my mom got eaten by a titan. Did she just say, is that what you teach in Marley? I swear to God, I... Yeah, Falco, you beat Gabby's ass right now. She is so plug, Kaya. She, I'm writing her name down. She is so plug. I'm going to write down the parents' names too next time I see them. Man. Is that the same village? Damn, it's four years ago, yeah. Yep, and mom got eaten. Is she going to say who saved her if she says that? I'm sorry to pause during the middle of her what I assumed would be a very aggressive little rant and speech, but I don't know. I would just assume with all the revelations that have had that have gone on throughout this season in terms of um seeing a very conflictive side of yes you see the devils but you also see good people and then with the addition of your own people like zeke betraying you i would assume gabby I, I wouldn't assume she would change her mind or opinion about anything but i would assume she would question at least a little more of what was taught to her maybe it was just solidified because aaron's whole thing off the attack just solidified it but there's been such conflictive evidence. I don't know, man. I just, I can't blame her, but I can, I have to blame her. Cause look at my, if she wasn't right next to Falco, I'd be like, all right, I'll cut her a little bit of slack. My boy Falco. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with the speech. I'm just upset. It's the same thing Grisha said, you know, our family had nothing to do with that. That's true. She's spitting facts. She's rebuttaling everything. I'm glad she's finally being confronted with some hard truths. Why? Give us an answer. Wow. That's the actual answer of the truth. You guys just happen to be civilian casualties of something that was way more grandeur than anything you could have thought of. And again, shout out my man Falco for telling her. Oh, please don't ask that. Please don't ask that. This episode's already about to be over? She wouldn't abandon people? Like, this episode, it's already over. It's going by in a flash. I'm so sad. That's so heartbreaking. Oh, I got so much to talk about. There's an after credit scene. Oh, no. Shit is going to go down. Right, I can understand why Colt would be upset about that. So it's going to be a united attack against Parody. 
We must wait for the Global Alliance. That's true, he is waiting for the time. Shit's about to go down. It's cutting between everyone. We're all ready. We're scared. We're nervous. Fuck! So I think for this episode, clear MVPs go to one, Kaya, and the entire Browse Familia, because they are just all encompassing one. And the other one goes to Falco. I'll get to him in a little bit. But I love that Sasha's parents have taken on a lot of kids, you know, having a lot of land, stuff like that. It's farmland, especially. It's great for kids to get responsibility, work on, provide sufficient food, stuff like that, water, all that. I love how Historia is helping out families who do these things for these orphans. One, because Sasha's, the experience Sasha went through, she would never leave Kaya, and just like how Kaya wants to grow up to be just like Sasha, I love that. But also Historia's situation, which she grew up in, was also horrible, so she extends the governmental help to families like i love that it's just a little detail that didn't need to be in there that i just it plays back on two experiences we've had throughout the series that just i love but definitely the whole familia kaya especially with not ratting out on either of them because apparently i don't know well i had a little talk about the parents knowing it would make sense that they knew obviously the other kids didn't know but so if Kaya was the only one that knew, then she is double MVP for not ratting them out because she not only as a kid was able to not immediately tattletale or snitch on them, but was also able to have a, a pretty in-depth conversation slash debate about sins, about morality, about so much. That was really deep. And that's been a topic since season three. You know, what did Grisha do? What did his sister do? They did nothing, yet they were still brutally, not Grisha, obviously. Faye was literally eaten alive by dogs. It's just fucking horrendous. Like, I would love, I would, oh, and see, that's what sucks. That's why I was saying, I, I wish Gabby was a little bit more questionative of what she's been told up to this point because of the betrayal. Because I would just love for Gabby to see the scene where fucking Faye was eaten by dogs. It's horrendous, but it would, you know, like Falco is such a good boy. He has nonstop been smart, quick thinking, compassionate, understanding. A little empathy goes a long way. And like when he told, her uh, when he told Kaya actually what happened with her mom you know it's just a recon mission they're supposed to be able to you know in preparation for us to fight you guys later but so many civilian casualties got caught up in the way you just happen to be one of them she so appreciate you know like I don't want to say closure because it's not really closure you know she's 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 went through the grieving process of her mom dying and all that but it's always been a looming question over her what did my mom do that was so crazy especially now that the information is public that we're not alone in this world everyone out there hates us that even raises more questions like what the hell what what did we do i literally just was born here 12 years ago my mom you know like i completely understand why kaya would feel like that and like and gabby really had no answers she was like what did my mom do to deserve this what did she do nothing like it's like it's, it's unfortunate but i really do truthfully think a plan is an action but i don't know See, I assumed that it was some super, super, super deep Marleyan plan with involved Niccolo, involved Yelena, involved, um, I don't want to say Flock, but he could have been just used in this plan. That involved Zeke, obviously, because of how it showed us last episode. Pixies is still questioning Yelena. Once Yelena, who was within a few dozen kilometers of Aaron's place, had a new guard, which was Flock, and then could able easily able to him to go see Aaron, transmit information, tell him about this, that, and the other. Flock with some other recruits, which I loved that little Luis story about Mikasa and her inspiration on joining. Like, I loved the touches. Um, I, I, like, Flock was the one who leaked the information on Aaron and is being tried for it, which, that's crazy in and of itself. Like, I understand why we need to try him, but I still think all he's done and his mentality like Aaron truthfully according I don't know oh, it's so complicated guys like I'm trying to personally come up with my own perspective inside to sit on but I can't it's really hard it was great seeing Darius again my boy Darius exactly shout out to all the Dariuses out there um I don't know but I still I still do think there's an overlooming plan with Nicolo all of them I don't think Gabby you know but then why wouldn't Magath have talked about it with all of them just alone right there? So it does Zeke have his own plan? Is it separate from Marley's? Is it separate from the scouts in and of itself? Because they don't trust Elena. They don't trust, you know, and then Aaron 
once he talked to Flock and potentially Yelena, maybe then he started going on his own and like, I don't know. I don't know. It's so complicated and I'm sure the way Isayama did it is beautiful. Just like the way he tied it into how Gabby and Falco were found by Sasha's family. That hit me so hard throughout this episode. It's so horrendous. Like, and then the new plan is for them to go to the dinner where Niccolo uh, is cooking and then maybe we'll be able to figure out how to get it. Oh no, this sh shit's gonna hit the fan. Like I tell you, like imagine just the fattest wad of shit ever and like imagine like a super high industrial fan that you see in like the movies like those super big vents and like how much that's gonna splatter everywhere that's literally what's gonna be this for the next like five six weeks <laughs> i'm just saying but uh fantastic episode love the show as always hopefully you guys enjoyed if you guys did you guys want to rewatch it full length watch the other shows in full length stuff like that check out that patreon always available to you guys you know fantastic episode i'll see you guys later Peace out, Dapper Squad. Don't forget to leave a like. Follow me on all the social medias. Peace out, you guys. <laughs>